Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I got for Christmas 2021. So if you're interested to see what I got, then just continue to watch. So hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do new videos on this channel every week. And if you are one of my lovely subscribers coming back, thank you so much for coming back and being here to support me. And if you haven't subscribed already, there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. And I would love for you to come on the 2022 journey with me. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Just for what is the word that I need even to need to even use? Disclaimer, I'm not bragging or any of those things. And it really annoys me that like I have to say that, but I don't want people to think that. I'm making this video because A, I love to watch them, and B, I wanna see what people have had. Um, so yeah, I am gonna share with you what I got for Christmas. And I'm also gonna share with you what I've bought with my Christmas money too. The reason being, I had one main gift this year. One that was very expensive, extremely expensive. One that me and Matt have, we, I kind of knew I was getting it for Christmas because it's something that we've discussed and budgeted for and tried to save for. And I was waiting till Christmas to actually open it and use it. So, um, spoiler alert, I have one massive Christmas present this year. However, I do have loads of little presents that I still deem as Christmas presents because I've got a couple of things off my mum and dad, a couple of things off my mother-in-law, and also I bought some things from in like in the sale after Christmas with my Christmas money. So as I'm older now, my mum and dad give me Christmas money as do my in-laws. And so I went on Amazon and bought myself a few things to go with my new presents. So first things first, Matt got me a Britney Spears fantasy. I don't know, still living in 2010, absolutely love Britney Spears fantasy. And do you know what I love about it? It's my perfume now and everybody always says, oh, you smell so nice. And that's because I always wear the same thing and I love it and I always get complimented when I wear it. So I don't know if you know this about perfume, but apparently perfumes smell different on different people. And it's something to do with like your own pheromones or something, I don't know. But I love this perfume and it's cheap as chips. This is what the bottle looks like inside. It's a really sweet perfume. So if you've never smelt it, before it's just really really sweet but i just love it i really do there's not much else that i wear i wear this day in day out and if you're interested in what i smell like this is what i smell like and who doesn't love britney spears um next up i had off my mother-in-law a file of facts um, I do love a good planner. This is a really beautiful marble one and it's got gold hardware on it. And it also says on the front, if you can see, it just says C'est la vie. And it's really beautiful. It's pink inside. I'm just gonna hide the front page. I've got all my details on. It's um, pink inside and marble. And then it's got all the months and then it's got a to-do list at the back where I've written all my goals in. And yeah, it's got loads of different sections in there. The one thing I love is that it's not dated, which is brilliant because I'm not always great at doing it every single day. Love that. I think Matt said that she got it from WH Smith. So if you did want this diary, I think that's where it is from. But don't hold me to it, but I think that's what he said. Next up, my mum and dad bought me a fur coat. If you've seen the Primark haul, I bought a really amazing, beautiful fur coat. It was just 30 pounds. It was an absolute bargain. It's what they gave me the money for, for my Christmas present. And yeah, that's what I had off them. And they also got me this beautiful biscuit barrel. So this is a ceramic. Let's see if it will focus. It's like a ceramic woven detail of biscuit barrel vacuumed. And I just really, really love this. I wanted to get oh, like a white, like opaque one for the kitchen because i've got a glass one at the moment and as much as i love it it really irritates me when the biscuits aren't neat and the kids just keep like chucking them in and i can't Im i can't expect them to stack the biscuits properly <laughs> you know who do i think i am so i'm so glad that they got me that and i don't know whether it's a name or anything mum and dad are normally ones for um 
named stuff. They just got me that. My sister actually also got me a diary, which I love because this one is a 2022 one. So the other one is like a file of facts where you can change the pages in there. But this one I do really like as well. And the reason being is it has got, look, come on geekiness. I better not do that in case there's anybody's details. Um, I'll show you a blank page. But basically it has got your week to view down here. And then it's got over here, it's got to-do list, appointments, motivational quote, goals, and then a little spare box down there. I really, really love this diary. It just says, make every moment, make every day count, 2022. It's got a little pen holder in the side. And it's also got at the back, it's got loads of stuff in the back. So it's got a note section. It's got a shopping list section. It's got a birthday section telephone numbers and also it's got like an, an accounts section so this is actually amazing for me with like glow up and with my youtube channel because then i can actually put down like ingoings and outgoings um which will really help me keep on top because i'm trying to just be a little bit more organized this year i had my accountant around like the week last week and i'm oh my gosh my account's just like crazy because i've never done it before so hopefully this is going to really help me this year shall i move on to the little bits that i've bought myself so also what i got myself was the big present that i got myself for christmas i bought matt a toothbrush and i bought the kids toothbrushes so these are i haven't got mats with me but these are the ones that i bought for the children they are from a company called spotlight oral and um, i actually found these i want to say that i saw emily norris promoting them i think she worked with them and i bought the teeth whitening strips which i'll get onto in a minute um and then i wanted to get matt a toothbrush for christmas and as i went on they had buy one buy two toothbrushes get one free which was amazing so i picked the boys up these really cool these are like the pride special edition toothbrushes you get the toothbrush and you get three heads three heads um yeah and like the charger and everything and these were just, I think I paid 60, 66 pounds for them, um, which is about roughly the same as like an Oral-B toothbrush as well. So I picked these up. And the one thing I love about them is they're called Sonic toothbrushes. So they, can you hear that? It's like a vibration more than a oscillation. Oscillation? Is that word? Oscillating. Yeah, it vibrates instead of oscillates. I don't know if that's the right word, but... Um, sorry if it isn't but the one thing i like is they've got like a shh mode which is for like younger children it's not as um that's like the really high one but then i put the kids on this low one um so it's just nice and sensitive on their teeth it isn't hard at all i wouldn't put anything on their teeth that i didn't think wasn't safe for them um so yeah i got them that i got one of those one of those each and i got matt the black one and this is where i'm getting to me when I went back on to get some more toothpaste, they had a sale on and these were down to £55. And then I had another code, which if it's still live, I will leave a link below for another 10% off. So I got it for £50. So I had the white one. Um, this is what the white one looks like. Um, bear with me if it looks a bit minging. I have used it. It is to my toothbrush at the end of the day. Um, but I really, really love it. I was having loads of problems with my Oral-B one. It was just... Um, I was every time I was printing on my teeth, the head was stop stopping spinning, and I would change the heads, and then my my lip kept getting caught in the spinny thing. I don't know what was going on, but I was having loads of problems with mine, and then mats started to play up, so that's why I wanted to get new ones. I love how sleek they are. I really, really do. And whilst we're talking about Spotlight Oral, I also did take advantage of the sale, and they also had um, an offer on where you spent over fifty pounds and you got the free whitening strips. These are the whitening strips that I use. They've got hydrogen peroxide in. They're the only place in the UK that I can find that have got ones with hydrogen peroxide in, which I like to use. Um, I used to use this company where you used to get Crest strips from America. So I'd either buy them through eBay or through this company. And I was having loads of problems with them either missing or not turning up. Um, and I think quite a few people who like bought from my recommendations were as well. So I don't use them anymore. If you want my advice, don't go through them anymore because I started to have loads of problems. But then 
I've started to use this, which is more of like, I feel like a more legitimate company. And it's so beautiful, the packaging. And um, you get your strips in a little pouch. And in here, you also get the whitening toothpaste, which I buy as well. I've got four of these. These also have hydrogen peroxide in. This year, I'm going completely spotlight oral care. I'm going to see how I get on. Um, I've got to start using my Invisalign again because I've really slacked off. My bottom teeth are moving back. I'm terrible with them. I, I'm really a person that needs to fix sprays because this is the second time I've done Invisalign and I'm shocking. Um, but yeah, so this year is gonna be a year to sort my teeth out, get them back on track. And I bought myself some spotlight oral things with my Christmas money. Next up, I think I might have mentioned it in the vlog that I did last time. I'm not 100% sure, but I treated myself to some things in the Black Friday sale. Um, and I knew I wrapped the book for Christmas for me. And it was some makeup pieces. So a couple of things I really wanted to try. I wanted to try the Yves Saint Laurent Touch of Clay. I know how you say this, Touch of Clay? Eclat? Eclat? We spoil the French language, don't I? I've just murdered the French language there. Um, this concealer anyway, you'll know which one it is. This is the actual version of the Aldi dupe that I use. Um, and I love the Aldi dupe, but I'm coming to the end. They don't do it anymore. So I bought this. If you want to see how I got on, I did do it in that vlog. So there's that. I also picked up this little gift set, which was the Boy Terry. Um, this is the CC Serum. I got recommended this by my friend Jess. Um, I will leave her Instagram below. She recommended this to me and I love it. I really do. I don't think I've used this yet in that video, but I will do an update on how I'm getting on with this because I'm gonna do like a makeup routine using some of the more like higher end makeup that I've bought. Don't get me wrong, I still use a lot of budget beauty stuff, but I just treated myself with my Christmas money. Um, and so this is the CC serum. I've kind of been using it, I've got it on today. I've used it for, instead of bronzer, so I've got no bronzer on right now, what I've done is I've used it to like contour. So I've just used it across my forehead, down my cheekbones and under my jawline. And it's basically just like what it says, it's a serum but it's a bronzer serum. So I've been using that. You can use it all over your face, under your makeup as well. Um, this is really expensive, but this gift set was in the sale and I will leave it linked below. I, if it's still on offer, I will leave that for you. And then finally, makeup wise, I've bought myself the Giorgio Armani foundation. Again, I've got it on today. I'm in love with it. If money was no issue, I would buy this all the time. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my BB cream from Home Bargains. That isn't going anywhere anytime soon. But like today when I filmed, I thought I would try it. Again, my friend Jess recommended this. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I got mine in shade six, which is what I've got on today. I never get on with expense, with, with foundation, um, which is why I always stick to a BB cream. But this one is the best foundation I've used in a very, very long time. Yes, that's why the price tag is probably there to go with it. But for somebody who doesn't wear makeup very often, I think this is really good because it'll last me, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I really, really love it. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll get it out. Um, this is what it looks like in the bottle. It's a really, really beautiful formula. I don't like anything that's really powdery and I don't like anything that's really cakey. I've never got on with things like the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which everybody raves about. I just can't, it, it makes my, me look so old. It goes into all my creases and crevices. Um, but this is beautiful. It is exactly what it says, luminous silk. It is like silk on your skin. So thank you Jess for your recommendations. I love them. And right, let's get on to my big present, okay? Again, I just wanna say I'm not bragging at all. Please, please don't take that this way. I am very extremely lucky to be able to have this. I know that. Um, the reason behind it, not that I've got to explain myself, is doing what I do, um, being on the computer a lot is very, very important and it's a massive part of what I do. And so, for my Christmas present this year, Matt bought me a MacBook Pro. Um, ignore my card reader in there. Um, but yeah, he bought me a MacBook Pro. This is actually the, a really, really good deal. When we were looking at um, which model and stuff to get, 
you can spend so much money don't get me wrong this was still a lot of money um but you can spend so much money on computers and it's like a minefield like there's so many different versions i was just like wow um but this is the m1 chip which is like the newest kind of chip <laughs> you can tell i'm really technical sub technically savvy um but yeah this is what matt bought me for christmas i am in love with it i love that i can now work anywhere and that was the biggest thing for me like doing youtube and things like that i was really restricted to where i was working and so now i can take my macbook and i can go and work in like a coffee shop or i can take it to bed and work which i know is not ideal but i found that sitting down at a desk all the time was really um hurting my back it was hurting my wrists and so now at least i can move around and go and sit in the kitchen and be with the kids more like i feel like when i'm working in the dining room all the time the kids will be in the kitchen eating their breakfast and i just feel like i'm missing out on that so now i can sit in the kitchen with them while they have their breakfast and i can work still and i just feel a little bit more with the rest of the family as opposed to locked up in the dining room so yeah thank you to my beautiful husband for getting me this macbook it is my pride and joy i am petrified of dropping it breaking it ruining it and um, which is why i've bought a couple more things that i will show you with my christmas money plus anybody has a macbook out there or a laptop you know what they're not just for macbooks um but it is this from amazon i bought this in the boxing day sale it was down to 30 pounds and what it is is it is a lap tray so you can see it's got these two cushioned bits on the back and it's also got um a cushioned bar across the bottom here for your wrists because i have a bad wrist from editing believe it or not and it's got like two gaps up here where you can put pens and pencils in or you can also st you can either stand your ipad if you've got one or an iphone you can use them as stands or you could use it to put pens in and stuff when you're working and it's also got like this little leather built-in mouse pad as well it's beautiful wood and it is gray i wish the gray was cream but you know first world problems over here and um, but i really really love this it's coming so useful like when i'm sitting on the sofa i can just put this on my lap it is definitely going in one of my videos coming up which is like how to get more organized for 2022 um it is probably one of my favorite things that i've bought so far it's got a little carry handle i love my little gadgets this is from amazon i will leave it linked below and finally i also bought myself a little laptop bag for my macbook and that's because if you own something this expensive honestly i feel <laughs> so like <gasps> around it so i love that i've got this little pouch that i can put it in so even if it's like around it's safe it's got a little handle on the top it's got two zip compartments and on the inside my friends my favorite bit it's really like soft and fleecy on the inside so i love that this can go in it can even fit in with my card reader on when there's no card in it um, but yeah, I really, really loved that. This again was from Amazon. I think it was about, I want to say about £12. But I will make sure I link it below. Um, and that is that. And to say I didn't really have a lot for Christmas, I actually feel really bad for saying that now because I've actually had quite a bit for Christmas. Um, yeah, I just thought I would show the things that I've bought myself with my Christmas money as well because it's always good to know. I'm nosy. I'm sure you're nosy too. That's why when you watch these kind of videos, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we're all friends here. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you got for Christmas. Um, like I say, I just want to say, I, again, I know that I'm extremely lucky. I don't want to seem ungrateful or like I'm rubbing it in anybody's face. It's something we've worked very, very hard for and something I am very, very grateful to have so um yeah i really hope you enjoyed that video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye you said my world on